few posted journal batches in journal lecture for AP invoice and payment. So I'm going to go back to Oracle Fusion Cloud and here I will simply navigate to journal accounting module and uh, look for journal accounting. Here you see journal accounting and under journal accounting go to journals. So for US1 business unit you have got one primary ledger and two secondary ledgers. Just remember that and make sure your data access set is set to your, your primary ledger. So in our case it is US primary ledger. Now you go to the task menu and from here you go to manage channels and then you go to the search form you see this character comes automatically I don't know why it's like a bug or something so you make sure you clear this character okay and then you choose the journal period so in our case it is 0621 and you gave the creation date as today's date so here it is hit the OK button I don't know why the time is like this so we'll make it to a.m. okay and then you hit the search button hopefully it will retrieve a number of journals including the ones that we have just created so as you could see now one is for payment and one is for invoice there are two batches created and other batches created for secondary lectures as well so if you click on this uh, uh, batch ending with purchase invoices this will be for our payables invoice so you see the amount is 4380 us dollar for both invoice as well as payment so this belongs to our batch and our transactions so look at this here you have the source as payables the best status is posted if you come down this is the ledger accounting date and categories purchase invoices and if you come down here here is the details of the invoice you click on this hyperlink and you can view the original transaction as well which is the source transaction in this case it is the invoice so you can click on this view transaction and here it will show you the transaction details okay so here you see the transaction details this is the invoice that we just generated the evaluated receipt settlement invoice okay hit the done button and in fact you can view the details of those transaction in a summary format over here as well okay then hit the done button so that was for the invoice related journal I'm going to come out of this and then for the payment related journals here it is for the US primary ledger so click on this hyperlink and review the journal and you see the journal lines are here and uh, this time it is uh, the source is payables and the category is payment so previously the category was purchase invoice right and look at the details of the transaction you click on uh, this hyperlink and as you could see the summary of the transaction is shown over here so this was our payment number 3802 right it is processed by Bank of America with a branch of New York and account number is this you can view the transaction right from here by clicking on this button view transaction You see now the status is fully paid and here are the details and here is the corresponding purchase order the receipt number and the invoice number okay here is the invoice number you can view all the transactions within one screen you can click on these hyperlinks to view the invoice or the associated purchase order or the associate purchasing receipts so this basically completes the end-to-end -end cycle but what we are remaining now is transferring the cost for uh, these uh, uh, hiring of contingent labor to the projects which I will show you in the upcoming lessons mm -hmm.